Hondo, Hondo, what's popping, y'all? <laughs> I'm just <playing. laughs> Today, man, we just finna do a little a couple ride arounds and stuff like that. I got bored, so fuck it, why not? Visual Tosa. Watch out for them bumps. <laughs> Damn, man, them bumps be like a bug, yo. I be hating that. See, that's why, you, man, I be wanting to get my car lifted and stuff, man, because you got so many potholes around here, it's crazy. Like, I don't even know, like, what to even say about that, though. It's wild. But anyways, dang, it's hot, yo. Anyways, how's everybody day going so far? Um, some of my projects, some of my projects I got going on, and I'm, uh, next month I'm going to go ahead and start working on this, my uh, Caprice. I got to get that optic spark. I, I found an MSD, uh, pretty much brand new one on Facebook Marketplace, so I think I'm going to go ahead and, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and, um, pull the trigger on that and get that so we can get the, uh, the bubble back going and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so anyways, we just go cruise around a little bit and see where it gets us <laughs> that's what me and my girl does a lot like when we get bored and stuff we'll ride around and you know what i mean just find some spots just to ride around you know or find some spots to start roasting people at or burnout <laughs> but you got to do that safely now because like i said like i said in one of my other videos a lot of people are uh dang That's scary right there. Oh. So you got them um, semi trucks, man. That should be scary sometimes because like they be hitting them corners and some of them don't know what they be doing. Like that's no cap, yo. I didn't see no almost run over a, a car hood and stuff. Like it's crazy. But anyways, we gonna try to get around this truck. Anyways. Got the meth hands out. So, yeah, got the meth hands out today. <laughs> it's bikini season. Ooh, that car sounds like a turtle. <laughs> it's, it's bikini season. <laughs> you got the meth hands out here. You got the crackheads out here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hopefully, you know, I ain't trying to roast y'all, man. Hey, hopefully, y'all get y'all life together. <laughs> You know, because I had a lot of bad influences in my life that I had to shape, you know what I mean? So, it, it, it always can be done. I ain't never smoked no crack, never had <laughs> hair on or anything like that, but, you know what I mean? Like, I, I've been, I've smoked weed and, and uh, you know, pop pills and stuff like that, and which, ain't, like I said, you know, ain't, ain't, ain't nothing in popping pills. That's why I had to quit that shit. I did that shit when I was younger. I'm like 35 now, so, you know, I got all my partying out the way and stuff, you know? I mean, I do like Tulsa, man. I ain't gonna cap, man. Tulsa's got a good, you know, foundation, but you just got so many people down here that makes it fuck messed up, you know, as far as just, uh, you know, just different things and stuff. I ain't gonna go into detail and stuff, just, it just, you know, anyway. But, uh, then just concentrate on it. <laughs> just go hit some blocks and, uh, you know, Glad y'all with me. You know what I mean? On this road to redemption. No, I'm just <laughs> not redemption. Hell no. I think that's the wrong word for that. That's for like people that's been in jail and stuff like that. Like, anyways, <laughs> never mind me. I'm a little lit. We're going to see what these Tulsa streets has to uh, offer. Probably nothing, but hey, you know. <laughs> Just, you know, it'd be so boring, man, sometimes. You gotta hit, uh, comment below. If you're from Tulsa, what is there to do down here? And don't say gathering spot, because there'd be like 4,500 people there. <laughs> and I don't want to be around a whole bunch of people like that. Like, that's what I, I ain't going to lie, what I miss about my hometown and stuff like that. Because, I mean, you always, uh, there's always something to do there. You know what I mean? There's, you know, it just, it's always something. But anyways, yeah, so... I don't know what should we talk about today, man. Like, okay, so what we doing to the uh, charger? What I need to do is I need to get some different shocks. You know what I mean? I need to get some different shocks. I know y'all seen me uh, change my shocks, 
but I end up we end up buying the wrong ones. We'll just go ahead and be honest with you. We bought the wrong ones, and uh, now we have to and now we have to end up um, buying some new ones. You know what I mean? And go another charger, but it ain't messing with our. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yesterday, man, yeah, that green, um, that green Mustang, man, they sure thought they had them a, a goofy or something like that. Uh, I, I guess because I, I guess because they didn't, um, they didn't see the, um, the Hemi badge on the side that they thought this was a V6. A lot of people get confused with that. They be like, oh, that ain't no, that ain't no V8 until they hear the, until they hear the motor. Then they be like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's one thing I like about these cars, they're bashed and all that stuff, so you really don't know what type of car you're getting, you know what I mean, when you get these type of cars, unless you look under the hood, and then, you'll know what you get. <laughs> That's what, you know, going on just the looks of a car, you would think it's a V6, because the V6 models, they don't have no badges like Hemi's or anything on it, it's just the, uh, the V8s that have the Hemi's on the side, and uh, them are the civilian models, like if you get the police uh, model like the one we got now, it's, it's going to come be badged, and it's going to be a V8. And uh, yeah, and another thing about these cars, if you got a charger, man, make sure you cut that four cylinder mode off. Cause I heard it's messing people's cars up. Some people's getting lucky as far as uh, yeah, some people's getting lucky as far as just you know riding that motor the way it is with the four cylinder mode. But I've heard other stories, uh, shall I say horror stories, where um, that the, like they're um, like the four cylinders like messing up cylinders or messing up the cam it's something to that uh something to that so you know just make sure y'all take your car out of four cylinder mode because i'll make sure for sure i always uh, yeah because man that four cylinder mode if you got pipes oh my god yo it come from being loud in the mug to sounding like a dirt bike when you get on the highway <laughs> to a certain certain speed but uh yeah what the fuck Somebody, you know, somebody can't park. Anyways, man. One thing I don't like about this place, they got so many. Well, I guess I could say I do like it because. Are you looking at me or? I'm looking at, at you. Camera? I'm looking at you. All right, all right, camera woman. <laughs> can't be looking at my crotch. Girl. Hey, <laughs> can't be looking at my crotch on the steering wheel. You gotta make sure you. Can. I'm getting in the face. <laughs> Wait till you watch the video. Man, I'm just messing around. But uh, I appreciate my girl. She's been a, a good camera woman. You know, she's got to work on it. But hey, you know, I, I got to work on mine too because I know her videos is going to start popping up soon. And we're going to have to get her stuff flowing. Uh, anyways, I ain't going to talk too much, man. I'm just going to ride around and pretty much show you, show you around Tulsa, pretty much. <laughs> okay, break check. <laughs> uh, let's see where Tulsa's so hot, man. I feel like, dang, you know, I feel like, I don't know what to say about this heat, yo, other than I be feeling like I'm about to melt for sure, for sure. Ooh. Tulsa's is humid. Humid than, humid than a mug, yo. More like Satan's toenails. No, nah, you're supposed to say it's hotter than Satan's toenails. No, nah, I feel like Satan's toenails, but it feel like he ate some hot Cheetos, so we, feel, we, we his asshole. He shitted us out. Yeah, because that's even more hotter. I would say it's hotter <laughs> than the African butt cheeks, but or butt hair, one of them. Yeah. Good old Tulsa. I feel like me and Tulsa, man, we have like a hate, uh, love and hate relationship. Sometimes I hate Tulsa, and sometimes I love it. <laughs> I guess it's I, I guess it's just a, what 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 it, uh what you call it say uh, X X Tassian. It was like when he was talking about the boob swings and stuff on his soul. <laughs> no, that's the wrong song. Don't get me wrong. I ain't gonna look dumb on camera. But anyways, 
you know, I mean, that's just pretty much what we do. We just ride around and just, you know, just try to find something to do, man. Because, it, it, like I said, there really don't be nothing down here. Uh, one thing I am going to do soon, I'm going to um, I'm gonna make sure I get, uh, I'm going to make sure I go to the museum and stuff like that. Because, man, I, I heard they got some, some tight stuff uh, in the museum and stuff like that. So, that's something I definitely want to check out, you know. Yeah, that's what I mean with them shocks, y'all. Like we got the regular civilian. See if y'all not familiar with the um, the, like the police cars or whatnot. The the police cars have have a stiffer um, a stiffer fucking um, they have a stiffer shocks or whatnot. The civilian models they got like a softer uh, softer um, I, I guess you would say it's, it's, it's softer like a shock are. And um, like like I guess this car right here when I was looking it up at um, what was that one place I went to? Uh, I think it was. It starts with an M. Anyways, my I, car parts. Um, I, I don't know. I forgot where it was. What it was called. But I went to a shop, and they said the specific shocks that I need are for like the heavier model uh, chargers. Because like I guess the like the police models like these, like it's got like bulletproof and re, it's like reinvest, and they got like bulletproof uh, what you call it in the door. I never knew that. And, but that's, I mean, when I was reading about different cars and stuff, you know, like the bubble I got, they said that it had um, plates in the in the, um, in the doors. So that way, like, that's why the police, when they're getting shot at and stuff like that, they always get behind their door. You know what I mean? Are you, yeah, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, so they always hide behind their door because they got that metal plate right there to help. But, uh, yeah, so I guess it does make, make a difference if you get civilian shocks and police shocks. Because, like I said, the police shocks are, like, a little rougher but you know you could go high speeds with them things and, and it'd be it'd be all good though but anyways I, i'm gonna quit talking though i'm just gonna let the i'm just gonna go ahead and just gonna watch the road like the sun's shining bright as hell. Man, you ain't lying, yo. That sun ain't no joke. <laughs> Trying to get good different angles. <laughs> I like, feel like I'm going blind just looking at the road and shit. <laughs> what the hoot, nanny? <laughs> Don't you hate them cars, yo? Okay, so I, I was right behind this one truck and I've been behind some cars and like I've seen like cars just straight smoking, yo. Like they hit the gas and they just bombard your car with straight smoke to the point where it fills your whole car up. I, man, I'll be mad in the mud, like can't see in the car. I'm like, some of y'all need to get y'all car fixed. And it'd be the cars to be having rims and stuff on them. You know, you got big old 26s on the car and your car is smoking like a freight train. You know, we're thinking your car is damn train and shit the way it's freaking and smokes and shit. So, you know, I mean, like, it's, it's crazy, yo. Like, some of y'all need to get y'all priorities straight as far as, you know, fixing your cars. So, I understand you want to ride big rims, but when your car is smoking like that, that's a no no. You go to a car show like that, next thing you know, you're looking like Ace Ventura, got your head hanging out the window like a, like a, like a Pomeranian dog. Like, window messed up and shit like it's just priorities be a little fucked up me i'm always me i could have i could have been put rims on here i've had rims on here but i could have been put bigger ones all that stuff but at the end of the day it's like all about getting your motor getting your motor right you know not making sure your car is all the you know what I mean? Oh, anyways, but we're gonna end this for right now. We just did a little ride around, a little talk, you know what I mean? A little, uh, little bedtime story. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was messing around. But, uh, I'll let y'all later, man. Y'all have a good day. All that good stuff. Peace out.